How's it going, everyone? Welcome to I Can Alter X That with coaches Alex and John. I'm Alex Christensen. Today, we're going to learn how to clean and parse messy data in Alteryx. Let's get started. So let's take a look at our data. I'm going to run these workflows and take a look at the browse tools. So on the input, what we have here is some messy data. And it's truncated a little bit, so let me get that to be a little bit bigger. So we have three fields here. So we have a poem, Mary Had a Little Lamb, which is in double quotes. We have a comma before our next field, which is our ID field, one, two, three, and a comma, and then a unusual date format in single quotes for day, month is uh, three letters, and then the year. So we need to split this into three fields and clean it up and get rid of these quotes. So what our final data is going to look like is over here. We have a poem column without the double quotes. We have a poem ID. And then we have a poem red date within Alteryx's standard date format, year, month, day, without single quotes. And let's take a look at our output data. Here we have our poem without double quotes, our poem ID, and then we have our poem red date without the single quotes, and it's put in Alteryx's standard format for dates, year, month, day. So this is really indicative of just messy data that we need to clean up. All right, I'm going to start by copying this text input and pasting it by doing control C, control V, and we're going to start to clean up our data. The first thing you need to do is parse our data into three different fields. So I'm going to use text to columns, and I see that it's called field one. I really don't like that name. I like all fields, even the messy ones, to have descriptive names. So I'm going to go back and put a select between the text to columns in the input, and I'm going to name field one messy poem. So now on my text to columns, it says field one's missing because I renamed it. I'm going to take messy poem with the comma delimiter and split that into three different columns. and put a select after here, because I know I'm going to need another select. And then add a browse at the end. So I'm going to run my workflow. Open my data in a new window. And I can see that I now have the poem in Messy Poem 1, the ID in Messy Poem 2, and then the poorly formatted date in Messy Poem 3. So the next thing I'm going to do is get rid of these quotes, both the single with Messy Poem 3 and the double quotes with Messy Poem 1. So how do I do that? Well, there's actually a bunch of ways that you can do that within Alteryx, but I am going to do it with one tool and one formula. So I'm going to use the multi-field formula tool. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select my text fields with messy poem one, which is the poem, and messy poem three, which was the date. And then I'm going to write an expression. So the expression I'm going to start is with the current fields. Double click here, and I want to use the replace function. So I'm going to do replace the field, what I'm looking for, which is going to be a double quote. Now this is going to look funny. To specify double quote, what I'm going to do is hit a single quote, a double quote, and then another single quote. Because whatever string we're looking for, even if it's a quote, needs to be within a quoted field. And then the final argument is what we're going to replace it with. So if you want to replace it with nothing, just put two single quotes with nothing in between. So this is only going to get rid of the double quotes. I need to wrap this in another replace function, comma at the end, and this time I'm going to do a double quote with a single quote in between. That's going to look for the single quote. And I'm going to put two double quotes at the end to specify replace that with nothing. 
end with a parenthesis. Now I'm going to run my workflow. And in a new window, I can see that my poem doesn't have single quotes and my date does not have double quotes. Or I think it was vice versa, but anywho. So now that we've cleaned that up, I need to take the date fields, which are in a weird format, and put them into a correct format. So usually when we're doing a string to a date, on the parse menu, we're gonna use the date time field. But this one is so weird, I'm actually gonna use a formula tool. It's gonna to be a little bit easier here. So I'm gonna take a formula tool, and I'm going to create a new field. This new field I'm going to call poem red date. So here for the poem red date, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the date time parse function. So what this does is you take a string. So in this case, it's going to be new messy poem three. which is the output from the multi-field tool. And then I need to tell Alteryx what format is this string in that's representing a date. Well, the format that it's in is, and you use symbols here, is it has days first, so I'm gonna do percent sign, lowercase d. Then it has the month as a three-letter word. So percent sign b in this case, and then the year with dashes in between, percent sign, capital Y. And then I am going to close that with a quote. Be sure on the formula tool to specify to Alteryx that you want this to be a date. Not a date time, like I just selected there, just a date. So now I can run my workflow. Open this in a new window. And I can see I have a new field at the end called poem red date in the format that I wanted. Now, all I need to do is take a select tool and clean up my data. So in my original output, I had poem, poem ID, poem red date. So I'm going to take a select. My poem ID was messy poem 2. So I'm going to call this poem ID. My poem is new messy poem one. You can call that poem. And then I created my poem red date with the previous formula. I'm also gonna reorder that. So the ID field comes after the poem. So now we're gonna run our workflow. And we can see the output we created matches the desired output that we saw at the beginning. As always, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Data Coach channel for more awesome lessons on Alteryx and all things data, analytics, and visualizations. Follow Data Coach on Twitter at AskTessellation and follow me personally on Twitter at Abracadata89. Thanks again.